Hi, this is Justin from Tech 65 and today we are here at the Nikon uh, launch of the J1 and the V1. So this is a very new line from the Nikon series called the Nikon 1. And today we have here uh, William from Nikon to show us a, a brief introduction of the Nikon 1 J1. So William, can you show us what's great about this? Or what's new? What's different? Okay. So when you look at the uh, Nikon 1 J1, at the back of the mode dial, you have only four modes. The first is the movie mode, then the auto mode, the smart photo selector mode, and the motion snapshot mode. So let me show you how the movie mode works. So coming into the movie mode and pressing the feature button located at the top, you have two uh, modes available. One is the HD movie recording and the slow motion. HD movie recording allows you to, shade, uh, to shoot um, full HD movies at up to 60 frames per second. Next is the slow motion mode that allows you to sh shoot slow motion pictures at 400 frames per second or 1200 frames per second. So how to toggle between the two of them? Go into menu. You'll see a frame rate option, 400 frames per second and 1200 frames per second. And I also understand that you can only record about 5 seconds of this uh, slow motion, right? Exactly. So when I go back to the menu, go back to the recording screen, right at the bottom you see that it's only 5 seconds, but um, it's recording at 400 frames per second. So the 400 frames will then be dissected and compressed into a 24 frames per second movie clip and uh, will be played back at uh, 1 minute. Uh, the next mode that I'd like to show you is the auto mode. So the auto mode comes with three options, single frame, continuous frame and electronic high frame. The electronic high frames allow you to shoot at 60 frames per second. So if I toggle it on, turn it on, I get a frame rate of up to 60 frames per second. And it's uh, up to the full uh, maximum megapixels, right? 10.1 exactly. megapixels that can take at 60 frames per second. Correct. So when you play back, you get 30 frames, and all these 30 frames will shoot at uh, 60 frames per second. Next is the smart shot, um, uh, smart photo selector mode. So the smart photo selector mode, what it does is it basically takes a series of pictures, up to 20 of them, and with these 20 pictures, it will short shortlist the five pictures that the camera thinks is the most um, suitable, and then it records all these five pictures into the camera. So how it works is when I turn it to uh, Smart Photo Selector, when I half press the shutter release button, you'll notice that there's a buffer that's being filled up. So what the camera is doing is it's trying to record a sequence of pictures prior to me pressing the shutter release button. And when I full press the shutter release button, a sequence of pictures will have been um, taken as well. So there, there will be 20 pictures that are being, sh that are being shot even though um, from the screen you, you see that there's only one picture, take, one picture that's being taken. But when I play back, together with this are the five pictures that the camera has chosen. So the camera will play back the one picture that it, it thinks that is the best. But if you can scroll through them and identify the one that you want to keep, <coughs> just press OK and say you want to replace the best shot. And there you go. This will be taken as the best shot. And the last mode that I want to show you is the um, motion snapshot mode. So what this mode does, it, it's, um, it takes a, a series of um, movie clips and then um, it attached it to a, a still picture. So likewise, when I half press the shutter release button, you see that the buffer is being trying to fill up. And the moment I press the shutter release button, Some, uh, a short movie clip is being recorded prior to me pressing the shutter release button and also a, a short movie clip is um, taken after I press the shutter release button. So these movie clips are being um, appended together and then made it into a very slow motion uh, movie clip and attached to the still picture when I press the shutter release button. So when I press on the OK button, you get music coming out as well and a short, short movie clip starts first and then the last uh, still picture will be appended to it. Even though the camera uh, over here it says auto mode, but the camera also comes with the PSAM shooting modes as well. So to toggle between the PSAM shooting mode, go into the menu. Under exposure mode, click OK. 
you'll be able to choose the different modes available in the camera. So I'm in manual mode right now, and in under manual mode, I get this um, this um, exposure meter. So the camera is telling me that this picture would be very, very underexposed. So how can I change the aperture and the shutter speed? To change the aperture, all I need to do is to rotate this down, and you can see the aperture setting starts to change. Likewise, if I want to change the shutter speed, all I need to do is to rotate to manipulate this um, button here and the shutter speed starts to get changed. So now the camera is telling me that the exposure meter is okay. So when I press the uh, feature button, I have different shooting um, modes available, single frame, continuous and electronic high. I can turn it on to electronic high, if I go back into the menu, I can toggle the frame rate that I want, want it to be. Yeah, continuous shooting electronic. So I can shoot at 10, 10 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or 60 frames per second. So the camera allows you to power on extremely fast. Without having to press the on-off button, all I need to do is to unlock the lens. The camera gets powered on at the same time. One of the very, very obvious difference between the J1 and the V1 is the dust-off shield. So if you look closely um, at the sensor, right on top of the sensor, there's a piece of um, a glass. It's a piece of um, transparent glass that acts to block off the dust hitting onto the sensor. So it makes uh, life easier for a lot of users because they can easily clean, clean off the dust from the dust for, um, on top of the glass. And also at the same time, because the dust is not directly on the image sensor, this dust um, appears very, very fine and very, very blurred on the image. So this is the Nikon 1J1, right? And uh, thank you very much, William, for going through with us majority of the features of the Nikon 1J1. And thanks for watching.